What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today I'm going to be sharing another lot that I bought off of eBay. I buy most of my cards off of eBay now because I'm able to find what I like. And what I like, because I mentioned this before, is jersey cards, rookie cards, or player cards to extend my personal collection of specific players. I like young guns. I like uh, mainly rookie materials. I find I keep purchasing them. But today is going to be a player lot that I purchased for Rick Nash. So these are all the cards that I purchased here. Now most of these are off of one seller, and I believe one card came individual from another seller that I completely forgot that I ordered, and I'm going to be adding that to this video as well. But all these cards are going to be for Nick, or sorry, Rick Nash. I think it's a Nick Nash there almost. Um, up first is a Panini Prism card. This actually looks awesome. I think that looks phenomenal. I like how it's a little bit uh, boiled there. And if I can find the year, 1314. So not too bad. That actually looks like a nice card. I like the shine to it. Next up, um, certified 2012-13. Panini? Yeah, Panini. Okay, not too bad. It's a nice shiny card as well. That would be nice to the collection. Ooh, too much of glare over there, so I'll leave it right there for now. Next up is going to be an upper deck. Let's see if I get the year here. 0708. Too much of a glare in that one spot, right? Um, these are the only cards I have of Rick Nash. I'm basically starting a personal collection of him. Another one here, upper deck. I'm going to focus here. 0708. Uh, this is Series 2. The other one was Series 1. Another one here. In the game, oh, three. A Fleer, Rick Nash, uh, I'm trying to let it focus here. 12, 13, Fleer, Pinnacle. For some reason, it's not going to focus. It takes a, it takes a minute. Um, can't seem to, oh, 20, 2011, sorry. Victory. Let's see the year here, 2010, 2011, right next to the victory sign. There we go, 10 and 11. Uh, another victory, 0708. This one, nice. Uh, that one looks like it's a young version, or sorry, a young picture of him. Uh, Atomic 04. That's a nice one. It looks nice. Next is an SP Authentic. He looks really young in this one here. Let's see if it says the year. This is how it was shipped to me too. Uh, 0203. Does that look right? And next are two jersey cards that I found of his. Uh, first one here. I should have looked at the year first. Uh, 1516. When he's with the Rangers, I get I have a few of these this year's uh, jersey cards. It has a nice style to it, so that's a nice one to add to Rick Nash's collection since I'm just starting off. And the next one here is a quad jersey for Black Diamond. Now that looks nice. Two black and two white patches. Um, let's see if I can get the year here. 2010, 2011. So to me, that looks nice. I like the quad jerseys, so whenever I found this, that's pretty nice. And the last one I have on this list, or for my collection that I purchased of Rick Nash, is this Trilogy jersey card, numbered 59 out of 102. For me, that's a really odd number, 102. I don't know why they would do that. Why not 100 even? Or, sorry, 99 even? That seems to be what they're doing. Um, but a nice patch right there. I tend to go for the more colored patches. They look a little bit better in my opinion, but this one looks nice. Um, let it focus on the year here. 15, 16. It's not too bad. So these are nice cards to add to my Rick Nash collection. Um, I'm actually just starting it off. So these are the first cards I'm adding to his personal collection. I do have other cards in other players' personal collections that I don't believe I've shared before on this channel. I think I have a few 
Uh, Connor McDavid, I think I've shared those before, but uh, Sidney Crosby, Ovechkin, um, P.K. Subain, Phil Kessel, different players like that. So if you guys want to see my personal collection of individual players in the future, comment down below. I'll make a video sharing all of those with you guys. I might have shared the cards uh, in individual videos whenever I've found them, but I have pieced together a personal collection of different players. So if you guys want to see that, let me know, but this is my Rick Nash collection that I just started. I basically bought this lot. Most of the base cards from this lot were off the same, and then these two cards here were the same as well, and I think I only paid $4 for that and a dollar shipping, so uh, $5 in total. And then I want to say I only paid $2 for this jersey card and $2 for the quad jersey card, so that's not too bad to start off another player's collection. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.